broadcasting. Well, if you just come online, we have a few people that are with us on Zoom. Uh, my name is Seth Naika, and I'm here with Marisha Singh Naika. And we also have uh, some of our, uh, of our leaders from the church and some of our members online. So uh, Nuts Palani is here together with Yasmin and Julian and Adele Modley. So thank you all for being with us online for our New Year's Eve service 2020. Um, we, we believe some folk will be... Uh, coming online via the stream on the Facebook page of Via Christi. And we'd like to say to you all, just welcome and thank you for being here with us. Um, as you can see, it says, give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His love is eternal. Psalms 107 verse 1. And on this New Year's Eve, I'd like you to take a look at that beautiful picture uh, down by the coast. Some of the oceans will be closed in COVID-19. Uh, but uh, some while ago, when I got a chance, when I was down by the, the, uh, the coast, uh, uh, that's the East Coast in KwaZulu-Natal, uh, we were at this rock. And later on, I believe this picture will come alive again in the message for this New Year's Eve service. But for now, we want to say that we give thanks to God because God is good and God's love is eternal. I've got Nitz online with me, so I'm going to ask him to open in a word of prayer as we enter into our New Year's Eve service. Welcome to everybody over to Nuts. Nuts, can you just begin again? Unmute, please, if you don't mind. There we go. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the service. Let's pray. Almighty God, we recall your many and wonderful promises. We thank you for this past year. We thank you, Lord, that your hand was upon us. We kneel before your throne of mercy and grace this evening, and we have faith in knowing that all our battles already have been won with you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are victorious in all our situations, no matter how difficult things may be. We thank you for your love and your mercy. We pray, Lord, that you fulfill each of your promises in our lives. And we pray, Father, that whatever the challenges that we may face, we pray, Father God, that you will take us through all of these challenges. We know we've had a hard year, a difficult year, and we're struggling to feel positive about many things that will be going forward in the new year. But we know, Lord, that when we walk with you and you have us in the palm of your hands as we walk this journey of faith with you, we know all things are possible. So we pray, Lord, for the service, for the many who will come on board and will listen to your word, for the many testimonies that will be given. We pray, Father God, that you listen to us, that you will bless our words, that you will bless our, our thoughts, that you will bless our intentions. And as we go forward into the service, we pray that you be with Marisha and Seth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, Nuts. Thank you for that prayer and opening us this evening uh, on the last day of the year 2020. And as we look back and look at our present and then look forward to what 2021 has in store, so welcome, thank you to those that have joined us on Zoom and those that are, have joined us on Facebook. Welcome to our New Year's Eve service online. I guess many of us would have never thought we'd be doing online services, hey? We got through the Christmas one, which was really unique. I got to watch my food in the oven while still being on the online service. Who would have ever thought we would have done service like that? And uh, here again, uh, in a time of physical distancing, we are still able to connect with each other online. And so we thank God for this time and we pray that we'd have a blessed time together in this uh, virtual space. Amen. So I'll ask my friends that are online with me, they can mute their videos at this time. We're going to be going into some video screen sharing. And the first piece of our reflection together will be a uh, uh, a communal prayer 
So while our video is maybe muted, um, I'll ask Nitz to do that as well, uh, to stop his video, or I'll do that for him now. There we go, Nitz. But we can unmute our mics if you want to join us. And here we want to go with our opening prayer for our New Year's Eve service on the last day of 2020. And we're going to begin with this prayer. It's a prayer of thanksgiving. Adapted from Walter Roschenbosch. And as we pray together, we pray that this prayer will be a blessing to us and that it will give us inspiration at, at this time, but inspiration around thanksgiving. Let us pray together. Oh God, we thank you for this earth, our home, for the white sky and the blessed sun, for the salt sea and the running water, for the everlasting hills and the never resting winds, for trees and the common grass underfoot. We thank you for our senses by which we hear the songs of the birds and see the splendor of the spring fields and taste the summer fruits and rejoice in the cool of our summer rains and smell the wonderful aroma of de delightful meals. Grant us a heart wide open to all the wonderful beauty and save us from the busyness of our festive season that we pass unseen when even the common thorn brush is a thorn bush is a flame with your glory. O oh God, our creator, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, as we want to give thanks, we want to do so with some praise. And as we do that, we'd like to hand over to our musicians. Some of these pieces of music have been over the year as we've been online. And so we've got Uncle Robert and Uncle Ari who will be leading our first two pieces of music. And if you're online on Zoom or you're online via Facebook, please uh, join along as we, as we sing with them.
God who started the work will be faithful to complete it in us. Let's continue as we sing along in praise with Uncle Ali. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh. Robert, if you just have come on, uh, we've started our New Year's Eve service online. We have some people with us here. So please, you can say hello to one another on the chat. Thank you for muting your videos and muting your sound. Uh, we began with some prayer, communal prayer of thanksgiving, and we've sung some beautiful praise and worship songs, giving uh, glory unto God. Also, Amen. though, as we continue, we learn in our, in our way of faith to take some time for lament. Lament is a passionate expression of grief, often through music or poetry, through our songs, through our psalms. And 
in a time where COVID-19 has really been a difficult, uh, has presented to us great struggles and trials and made this year quite difficult, um, people are encouraged to lament. We can come to Christ with our deep complaints, our deep uh, mourning, our deep sorrows. And as we do so, today we'd like to enter into a prayer that was actually provided to us by a friend uh, who, who participated with us in a national day, a national moment of prayer. When VCC went online some weeks ago, we decided that we would uh, take this time to pray. And so um, I just want to sort our screen out. But as we do so, we want to take this moment together for prayer. Um, and remember our dear sister, Mary Ann Plykis. So let me just get the, the chat out my way. And so we'll share the screen right again. And as we do so, we want to do it in by way of lament. And so Marisha will join me as we together will lead this prayer. And you're welcome to participate with it. So let's do this prayer together. And as we land this moment, Mary Ann van Plykis joined us in our moment of prayer earlier in the year. Um, she, she passed on in, in May, uh, but before she passed on as former moderator of, 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 yeah. of, of the URCSA, she participated with us. And so in honor of Mary Ann van Plykis, but also of those many others that have passed away this year, we want to take this moment to pray. So let's uh, use this prayer that was scripted and written by Mary Ann van Plykis. Compassionate Lord, you suffered and died for us. You understand suffering. Compassionate God, give us faith to seek you in times of trouble. O oh Lord, we come to you in this time of global crisis to ask for your protection against the pandemic that has affected thousands of people worldwide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick to be healed, the anxious to be calmed, and that the disease itself be contained. God of compassion, we claim your promises in your word as we pray for those who are ill or suffering loss and long for your healing touch. In our congregation, our community, South Africa, Africa, and the world. We pray for our political leaders who are responsible for decisions about fighting the virus. Teach us to adhere to these regulations issued by the government. We pray for all the frontline and backline leaders and staff who are helping so that this can be contained and so that people can be healed. Lord, we are sometimes concerned and find ourselves not knowing where to turn. We find ourselves asking why, why has this happened to us? We find ourselves in a moment of struggle and pain. Father, we seek your wisdom daily. Yeah, our, pr our prayer. God, you are our refuge and our strength and ever present even during this time of lockdown. With you, we shall overcome. Amen. Amen. Friends, and that prayer again is adapted from Reverend Dr. Mary Ann van Plykies, who passed away earlier this year. We've used this prayer by way of lament a time for us to reflect on where we are at together in this moment. And as we do so, we know that we can come to God with all sorts of our, of our concerns. And so I hope that that was a, a blessing to you. We wanna continue with some music. If you would, I'll ask you again, like I will be doing to mute your, your mics and mute your cameras as we continue with some worshipful singing um, and let's go ahead with that right now. Um, and that is to, you know, um, the rest of this ensemble. 
Please let me just mute all because I can hear some sounds. I'm going to mute all. And let me just do that for our colleagues. All right. So the next piece we're going to be going into is the lighting of a, of a candle. And this, this candle, uh, as Marisha will light it, will be in, in memory of those that have passed on. And as we enter this, this new year, 2021, we want to be reflective. Yes, it's normally in tradition to do fireworks and so on, but we do this in solidarity with our country and the rest of the world, as our president requested. So if you do have your candles, you can unmute your videos and join us in this time. And those of you that are on Facebook, you can do so as well. But let's take a moment to light our candles um, and, and take a moment for reflection. I will, I will share a screen. As you can see, Marisha has lit our candle here at home. But for the symbolic moment, we'll use a visual that looks like this. I know that I have one of our, of our leaders and elders of the church online, uh, Sankar, and I'll ask Sankar to please, if he is able to, to say a word of prayer at the lighting of these candles symbolically, if you haven't done so, but over to Sankar. Thank you, Sankar. Uh, lead us in, in, in uh, a time of prayer. Ibarra Father, we thank you that in the midst of all that happens around us, you are a God of hope. You are a God who, even when the world was hopelessly lost, sent your son to, to save us, to bring us out of the darkness of sin. As we light this candle this evening, dear God, we, we pray that you would bring light into this world, which seems to be so dark at the moment because of this virus which, is, which has beset the world. Dear God, you call us to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Help us to be your lights who would go out into the world and to share this hope which you give us. And Father, we pray that even for those people who have experienced loss, who are suffering severely because of this disease, dear God, that you would bring the light into their lives. Father, light the spark again and let them see the hope. Let them see the promise that you gave, the priestly promise, that you will be our God and we will be your people, dear God. That you would bless us and that you would take care of us. I pray, Father, for, for this new year that this would be a, a year of great possibilities, a year of endless opportunities, dear God, for us to become better people, for us to become your light and, and your salt in, in the world. I pray for the service as we continue, dear God, that your blessings would flow in, that those of us who are listening would truly feel the heat of your light in our lives. We thank you now, dear God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sankar, for uh, leading us in the time of prayer. Those of you that are online, I hope you've appreciated the symbolic time, and we do so as, uh, as we have been requested to by the leader of our country, but also in our own spirituality as we journey with Jesus, as we journey in this time of a New Year's Eve service. We want to celebrate, but we also want to remember uh, the loss of loved ones through this time. Uh, friends, as we continue, let us continue with some more music and some uh, sing-along songs that will lead us to a time of reflection. This is where we've asked you to prepare Maybe some testimonies. There are some of us that are online with Zoom. And at that time, we'll ask you to switch on your videos and unmute your mics. You obviously will be broadcasting. The, uh, uh, we are live on, on Facebook Live. So those of you that uh, will be doing that, that's where you'll be with us. 
uh, but there'll be three questions that come that will allow us to reflect on our thanks, allow us to reflect on our struggle or our lament, but also allow us to reflect on what it is that we're trusting God for. But as we prepare for that moment, let's continue with some worshipful singing. And this piece of music, what a friend we have in Jesus. I will uh, sing along uh, with the beautiful playing of uh, Sean, Sean Karim. Karim. And as we do that, you are welcome to sing along wherever you are at. But let's enjoy this music right now. Thank you for that beautiful piece of music that was uh, done much earlier this year for us by Sean Karim. We're going to continue with this worshipful time of some singing of songs. And uh, let's continue with this song by Four Notes.
the temple, you are the voice, we are your song. You are our God, we are your people, you are the light, we stand in all. Amen. Not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, God. Send your spirit, God. I hope that you've been blessed by this musical time as we've led to this moment of three reflections. The first one, reflect on what we are grateful for. I'll ask you to take a moment to think upon it. And there is a, a chat box on the Zoom, as well as if you're on Facebook, you can use the chat area there as well. And please insert what you are grateful for uh, in this year as we reflect on 2020. There may, may be many things, but take a moment please and participate and uh, please put in your reflection. I'm also gonna join in. It's a bit more difficult for me to do it on Zoom, but I'm gonna add my reflection on our Facebook page. So please take a moment right now, reflect on what we are grateful for. So we already have one on the Facebook page It comes to us from Auntie Bernice and I will read her one from the Facebook uh, page. We thank you, Father God, for your love and your mercies and your protective hands over us during this very difficult year of challenges that we face, Lord. And then she continues to say, we trust and know, Lord, that you would go before us in the new year. In Jesus' name we pray. So thank you, Auntie Venice, for that reflection. Uh, please continue to put in your reflections. And maybe if somebody is on Zoom that would like to unmute and maybe just uh, share that through a vo their voice, you're welcome to do that as well. So Seth has just put in, I'm grateful for family and for resource for this year. And he's grateful for innovative ideas and partners who have helped us make things happen. So as you're coming in, take that moment. Neil Munsami says, blessings in the new year from California. It's 8 a.m. year and join with you in prayer and solidarity to overcome the scary time in the world. Thank you, Neil. And Neil, please also feel free to 
share your reflection on what you and your family are grateful for. See Yasmin Pelani, she's with us on Zoom, but also on the Facebook page. And she says, thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing us to face another year. Lord, use us in the new year. Help us to seek your faithfulness, righteousness, and grace in all we do. So please participate. If you haven't done it here, you can also do so on the WhatsApp chat that Marisha and I are on uh, with the church. But it's really just to lead ourselves through a process of being reflective on what we are grateful for. Next. And Lanita Pediachi says, we are grateful for God's constant provisions. He saw us through this year with good health and resources. Amen. Amen. The next reflection is reflect on what is hurting and troubling us. If those of you have joined us from the onset and the get-go of the service, we went from a prayer of thanksgiving to a prayer by way of lament, where one can share their deep groans and moanings to God. This is a good way to process our anxieties, our pain, our trauma. And it's in our faith that we are able to come to God with the deepest of our pain. And so in this moment, I ask you, reflect on what is hurting and troubling us in this time. And so uh, take a moment to do that. And if you can, please add it into your chat box and uh, build, build as you reflect with us. What is the thing that is hurting me or bringing me pain? Where I'm, I'm actually in a deep groaning about it and I'm taking this groaning, this moaning, this pain to God. Reflect on what is hurting and troubling us. This may not be easy as a reflection space, but again, we encourage you to bring that, what is, that which is hurting us and may be causing us trouble and pain to God. So reflect on what is hurting and troubling us because this way of our spirituality calls us to lament and to bring our groans and our troubles before the Lord. So if there's anyone that would like to please uh, put it in. I kind of would ask you to, to put that in. Well, let's move on though. It, it may be that people are still going to uh, come in with whatever they, 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 would, they would want to add in. Uh, but it's that moment that we are talking about a reflection of our, our lament. The last, the last piece is uh, on, on the reflection piece is a reflection on what we are trusting God for. And I'd really like you to think over this because this becomes a part of our journey into, into the next year, into the next moments that we may be asking God to come along and be with us and provide us uh, you know, a way to our future. So I ask you right now to take that moment to reflect on on what we are trusting God for. And so if it's resource and supply, if you're trusting God for healing, if you're trusting God for uh, a breakthrough around work and provision, please take a moment to reflect on that. What are we trusting God for?
I'll stop the screen share at this time because those are the three reflective questions. Uh, so a reflection on Thanksgiving, a reflection on lament, and a reflection on us trusting God for, uh, you know, a breakthrough, trusting God for resource. So we've got a few friends that are online with us. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, dear friends, you're welcome at this time to unmute your, uh, your videos and unmute your audios. Uh, and we'll just take a moment if there's anyone who would like to just share since you are on Zoom with us and possibly by way of testimony, it could be a reflection of thanksgiving, it could be a reflection of lament, it could be a reflection of trusting God for a breakthrough. Um, I, I would like to just leave a moment. So there I see the Modleys. Yes, uh, yes thank you Modleys, please go ahead. Yes, Pastor, I think, you know, for us, we want to say a huge thank you, you know, for the online services it just meant so much um, for us to be able to attend service, you know, as our conversation um, at some point about, you know, our son um, and the challenges that we have. So it does become difficult for us, but the online services have just been, um, it sustains us more than you'll ever know. So it's also given us uh, an opportunity to, to really be a part of the service and, you know, we want to say thank you to you guys for your your energy and you know your your passion for what you do. I know you know Pastor Marisha said it's it's you know you're so excited. It's your passion um, that you have for what you do, and and we feel it. You know, um, you bring your all to the service. We can feel it, and your kids are just amazing. You know, it's it, we we all are parents. We know how difficult it is you know, to mobilize the kids in a certain direction. So we also want to salute you because at the end of the day, your parents as well. So we thank you. Uh, we'd like to, you know, thank the uh, congregation as well. Um, and it's just been difficult, you know, for everybody. But, you know, certainly for us, we'd like everybody to know that we, we also want to be a part of whatever you need us to be a part of. We're happy to be, to share in that. So thank you. Uh, we also want to wish you well and everybody else well. Um, and we're in it together. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Those of you that are online with us, Colin, James, Sankar, K. Uh, if you want to do, I'll also give the Modleys a round of applause because the digital devices are here. <laughs> Thank you for, for sharing. And uh, we receive that on behalf of the, of the church and the leadership and the elders. Uh, you know, we were, we were just saying, what a beautiful way in which the, the leadership at our church has, has thought. Marisha, in one of the, the written comments said, even with going on an online service, it's not because of a lack of trust, but because of an act yes. of love. And yes. to make this online uh, uh, service happen, we're so grateful also for our leaders and our congregation. So thank you to Julian and to Adele. Anyone else? I know that we have some text that has been put into the Zoom chat. We'll also be checking on Facebook in a while. Uh, but I want to cross over. I know that I have Auntie Kay with us, uh, Nuts and Yasmin. We have Sankar here. We have Colin James. So is, if there's anything, either one of those reflections, a reflection of lament, a reflection of thanksgiving, a reflection of, of trusting God, please unmute your, your videos and, and participate. And I'll ask, uh, and while Marisha convenes for a while, I'm just going to check online to see if there's anyone else sending comments. So thank you to the Modleys. And I see that there's other uh, meaningful uh, comments. It's coming to us from Facebook uh, Live and uh, we'll take a moment to interact with those in, a, in a, a moment or two. But if there's anyone else in our Zoom meeting that would like to unmute and share the experiences, share some encouragement, you're welcome to do that. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, turn over to some of the of the text here that we that we've received. Uh, Sankar saying, "Grateful that I have experienced the blessing of number six twenty four. May the Lord bless you and keep you." Uh, Auntie K, those of you who know Auntie K, what's hurting is the loss of our boys. 
but more so all the young people in our community on drugs, the broken homes. Thank you, Auntie Kay, for sharing that with us. Colin James uh, in the text says, grateful to God for being with us during this time of the pandemic, for being with Ruth and her family during our time of bereavement, for Auntie Rosie and Mark, grateful for the blessing of our children and grandson Ezra and blessing us with another grandchild from Shane and Marcia. So thank you, Colin, for sharing those beautiful reflections. Sankar added again, painful to see friends and loved ones who are unable to experience peace of number six in the midst of the pandemic. And Colin James uh, says, the pain and anxiety we experienced now with my brother Clive in hospital after his bypass. So we, uh, we sense and we hear the pain and the hurt that people have experienced. Uh, from Nit saying the painful to experience the de death of loved ones of Ravi and Yeshu. And I think for each one of us, we know of somebody who's passed on during this time, whether it was through COVID or through other health concerns, or just a time of, you know, where things have been really difficult. And I think uh, that's coming across as you share. So thank you for being vulnerable and sharing with us. This, uh, uh, this afternoon. This evening. Yeah, sorry, evening. And then Leanne Padiachi says, I'm trusting God to keep his hand of protection over my daughter, Aria Lea, who's going to start school next year. It's the first time she will be in, in a complete stranger's care. So looking forward to some of the things that will be happening in the new year and sending our kids off to school. Yes, can be quite uh, anxiety provoking for, for a lot of us, but we pray that they would go with God before them. So thank you, Leanne, for, for sharing that with us. So friends, thank you for participating in this time of reflection, reflections of thanksgiving, reflections of lament, uh, nuts uh, and, and the family also by way of this morning, uh, the lot of loved ones, Ravi and Yeshu. Uh, is somebody on Zoom wanting to speak, Antike? Are you are you wanting to share something with us? I know you are. No, sir. I can't okay. get back. Then. Okay. The, the 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 video has been has been muted for now, Antike. Do you want to start your video? Is that what you want to do? Yes. Yes, it's fine. Okay. So let me let me hand over to Antike. No, no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, sir. Okay, Auntie Kay. Thank you, Auntie Kay. Thank you so much. You. And I think Uncle Daya is with her as well. Thank you for, yeah. for, for you being with us. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go back to some 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 worship music at this time. And as we do so, we we we've selected some pieces of music that were shared with us through the year. Uh, uh, some folk have enjoyed the singing of songs by uh, Jono and Charlene, and then also Santonia. And as we do so, these are worshipful songs that we wanna sing together. If you don't know them, hum along, but take a moment for those of you that are online on Facebook, those of you that are online with us here at Zoom, to just enjoy these pieces of music as it sets a tone and prepares us for the word of God, okay? So let's do this together. Lord, thank you for this time that we could take uh, to reflect uh, by way of thanksgiving, mm. but also to reflect by way of lament. We want our people to know that even we, we, we may not find ourselves always being filled with praise and always being filled with thanksgiving. This year has taught us that we have been filled with mourning and trauma. And it is healthy for us to come to you with our deep groans. Mm -hmm. Also, we trust you by way of request uh, and, 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 and our deep desire to see the, the good for our families and resource Mm -hmm. for breakthrough and for just you providing for our needs. Mm -hmm. So as we go into this time, we want to take this time to worship through music. And thank you for the beautiful musicians that we have in our network and in our community. So Lord bless us as we enjoy this time together. Amen. Amen. So over to Santonia with a piece of music called My World Needs You Right Now. 
and then straight on to Jono and Charlene. Show me your face, fill up the space. My world needs you right now. My world needs you right now. I can't escape being afraid. Fill me with you.
My world needs you right now. My world needs you right now. I love you, Lord, greater than anything. I love you, Lord, more than my heart could say. I love you, Lord, more than I love myself. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I worship you. High above everything. I worship you, oh, that my heart would sing, I worship you, oh, let my life give praise, I worship you, I worship you, I worship you, I lift my hands, I am a sacrifice, I lift my hands, my body and soul, the price, I lift my hands, cause all that I am is yours, I lift my hands, I lift my hands, I lift my hands, hallelujah, this is my song of praise, Hallelujah, I worship you all my days, hallelujah, all that I am is yours, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. you guys thank you to all of this beautiful worship music that we've received thank you to Jono and Santonia uh, let mm -hmm. us say a word of prayer as we go into the word for this time as Marisha will lead us in the word Lord we thank you that we have this time to listen to your word on New Year's Eve on the 31st of December 2020 as we've taken these moments to reflect through music through prayer, we ask you, O oh Lord, that you will continue to be with us. Even as Marisha will speak now, may it be a blessing to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, and everybody says, amen. amen. Over to Pastor Marisha. Amen. Thank you, Seth. And thank you to each one of you who's, who's with us uh, this evening on the last day of 2020. Uh, when I think back, I remember, and if you can see uh, the first picture of the suspension bridge over these raging waters and the rocks below. So uh, last year, exactly a year ago, this was where I was and uh, at Storms River mouth. And if any of you have done that walk, you kind of have to go, especially with little kids. It is nerve wracking, you know. And we stood on that bridge that was obviously very shaky, but we trusted that it was strong. Uh, and we heard the raging waters below and the waves crashing, crashing onto the rocks uh, and taking a, a journey, you know, through some steep inclines and places where if you fell down there, oh my gosh, you know, you would, it, you'd be in big trouble. So little did I know that as I prayed on that bridge, 2020 was going to be very much like that. Uh, raging waters, uh, uncertainty, things that were shaky, not knowing what would happen, whether I could trust and have faith in that. Uh, and, and I think about others, where you were last year at this time. And so if you could just take a moment to reflect, to think back, Last year, as you looked forward to 2020, what were your expectations? What were your hopes? What were you uh, looking forward to? And what were you dreaming of? 
Now we've all had them, but I think none of us thought that it would be like the way it was with living through a pandemic and for many uh, passing away in a pandemic and um, losing our livelihoods for some, uh, not just family members and loved ones, but also not knowing you know, where, uh, where, where you would be in the very next week, the loss of income, uh, the loss of, of uh, security. And so it was really a very tough year from the grief that we've had to experience, from the struggles that we've had to face. And um, it was not easy. And I guess none of us expected that it would go this way, that we'd be dealing with a pandemic and trying to live through a pandemic. And uh, as I take stock of that and look back, I'm mindful of those things. But through the time of lockdown, if you can think about, you know, level one in, in March as we went into it and as we all were kind of taken aback and shocked, oh my gosh, is this really happening? where we had to be uh, staying indoors and not going out at all. And then moving from level one to level two, um, I mean, sorry, from level five to, to, uh, to four, to three, to one. And now we're back at level three. Uh, that's a lot to process. But even in lockdown, if you can think about those moments where we, uh, those of you that were on social media, do you remember those times where we saw people posting off themselves cooking a new meal. You know, we had master chef on, on social media. People were putting, hey, look what I cooked or look what I baked. Uh, and then we had people uh, posting songs and singing songs and dancing. And then Jerusalem a hit, uh, went viral where everybody was just kind of uh, dancing along to it. And then we had people that were gymming and so we really were watching like, uh, you know, uh, lockdown got talent because there were so many people who were letting us know what their talents were in lockdown. So in the midst of these struggles, in the midst of the worst things that was happening, we somehow found room to smile, room to laugh a little, room to kind of uh, see, you know, how can we get through this? I know in our own home, uh, our kids, because obviously we hadn't been out for a long while and Seth and I had not gone uh, except to go get groceries or things like that. They, they prepared a meal for us and they invited us to the restaurant. And so, you know, these wonderful things were happening. And so we, we saw those things occur. And then we also saw the kindness and um, just the, the beauty of people being so giving where they reached out. I mean, we heard from beautiful stories of how people saw somebody in need or knew that their neighbor needed this or somebody needed this and they provided to that. And so it, we saw resilience take place over this time of lockdown and how beautiful that was. So in spite of the struggles, we were able to come through it with resilience and strength. And so I'm very mindful of this in this time and as we reflect on the year, as we looked at those different questions about, about God's goodness and what we are grateful for, but then what were our struggles and then what we are looking forward to. And so I'd, I'd ask for us to think about that in light of this scripture verses that I would bring to you this evening. And so it comes to us from Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5 verses four to six, which will be our main text. And so let me read that this evening. We also have joy in our troubles because we know that these troubles produces patience or perseverance. And patience or perseverance produces character and character produces hope. And this hope will not disappoint us because God has poured out God's love to fill our hearts through the Holy Spirit whom God has given to us. So that's Romans chapter five, verses four and six. But I'd like for you, when you have time and when you are meditating in this time 
uh, before this new year comes in to really look at that whole chapter. It is, it's written to Paul to the people in Rome. He's about to go and visit them, but he gives just an amazing uh, message of our faith. So the chapter starts off with this beautiful, beautiful uh, verse that says, now that we have been made right with God, through our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, we have peace. And so it starts off with this faith and peace aspect that we have been justified, we have been made right with God because of the faith that we've had. And then it continues to say that, you know, we have troubles and we have glories, but we can rejoice in those glories. But then our main text, verse four says that we have joy in our troubles. Oh, now when you think of that, that kind of doesn't make sense. How can we have joy in our troubles? Even if I think about all of the hardships that have come this year. And I think about people who have lost their loved ones, who've had to say goodbye to loved ones. It's been, it's been so heartbreaking uh, for children to lose their parents, for parents to, to say goodbye to their children. Uh, for family members and friends to go through illnesses alone, to go through a funeral, not even being able to hug people and, and you know, give warmth in that time. How hard it must have been. How do, how do we have joy in that troubles? But this is what the word of God calls us to, is to have joy in our troubles. And so when I think about joy, and when we think about joy this evening, this joy is not just being happy all the time. It's not just an emotion. It's, it's something that's, that's within you that comes from God and that you have this in your mind, body, soul, and spirit. It's the joy of the Lord that no matter what my circumstances, I can rejoice. Now that's hard. You know, it's not about just being happy. It's more than happiness. And so this joy is really something that is dynamic and it does not depend on our circumstance. And this year has really taught us that, that no matter what we've went through, no matter how tough it was and how hard it's been and how hard it may continue to be, we are called to be uh, in this joy, to rejoice. So joy in our troubles. And then it continues to say that when we have joy in our troubles, this produces patience or perseverance. Now, we've had to be patient this year, quite a bit. I've had to be patient with my kids having to do homeschool and four of them. And Seth has had to be patient like nothing else. I mean, imagine having to teach just kids through this time and for other parents that have had to do this or just being patient to looking forward to when you will be getting better or being patient for when is this vaccine going to come or for many other things being patient about you know uh, being patient when will I be able to start working again now patience is not easy but if you've been able to have this peace that comes through the Lord Jesus Christ you are then able to have joy in your troubles and then this produces patience it produces perseverance it's kind of uh, leads from one to the other. It's not stagnant, it's something that's dynamic. And so we, are, we have this perseverance and this patience. And as, as we think about patience, I don't want us to think of it as just sitting and doing nothing. You know, it's just, it's just something that we are just waiting and it's, we are passive about it. No, it's an active, dynamic, life-sustaining perseverance. So let me say that again. It's an active, dynamic, life-sustaining patience and perseverance. And that's what we are, are called to, even when we look forward to this year and this year that will come. What else do we need to persevere with? What else are we need to be patient about? Has we wait for many things this year, the, for the new year to come? And then what happens is that this patience produces character. Now, when we think about character, you know, we get some, oh, we kind of say, hey, that's a character. You know, that character is really just a, a delightful character or colorful character. 
But when we're talking about this type of character, it really means God's approval, simply means a character of having God's approval. And this character of having God's approval produces hope. Now, hope is something that, uh, that we have that allows us to trust and believe and be confident in, in God's in expectation in God's promises for our future. So let me say it again. Hope is trusting and believing and having a confident expectation in God's promises for our future. And so we don't know what 2021 will have in store. Like we thought 2020 is gonna be like this, but I think it all kind of shocked us what it was really about. And we really, there's uncertainty but well, this is where hope comes in, is that we have a confidence, we have an expectation, and that we trust in God's promises. And what's so beautiful about it is that this hope will never disappoint us. Now, 2020 was a disappointing year. There was so much that we planned for and so much we hoped to do. But this hope that we are holding on to that has been produced because of the joy in our troubles and because of the patience and perseverance and because of the character of God's approval, it's produced this hope. And this hope will not disappoint us, but here's why. Because God has poured out God's love to fill our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which God has given to us. And so this evening for us to to really settle that in our hearts and minds and souls and spirits for ourselves, for our families, for our community, uh, for our country and for the world, that this hope will not disappoint us because God's love is poured out. It fills us. It's not just half, it fills us. And so there's an overflowing of it. It's in abundance through the Holy Spirit. And so may you be blessed by that this morning, this evening, sorry. May you truly know and understand what it means to have joy in our troubles through 2020 and even as we look into 2021. And then that this has produced a patience and perseverance in us. And it has led to us to have a godly approval, a character that produces hope and a hope that doesn't disappoint because it's been poured out in our hearts by God's love through the Holy Spirit. And so we face this coming year, not hopeless, but hopeful. We do not have to be destroyed with despair, but we have a life sustaining hope that doesn't disappoint us because of God's love that is poured out through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Our dear, most gracious God, we thank you that through you, we have been justified and we have been made right. And that because of that, we have peace. Not the peace that the world gives, but the peace that you give. And that through this peace, we can have joy in our troubles. And that through our troubles, Lord, we can rejoice because our circumstances doesn't depend on anybody but you. And that this builds our patience and perseverance. And this gives us a character that you approve of and that produces hope. And so we are trusting you for a 2021 that's not hopeless, but hopeful. That is not filled with despair, but is filled with life-sustaining hope that comes from you. I ask this in your holy and precious name and through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Marisha. This hope does not disappoint us. And like that second picture uh, is at the bottom of the screen uh, with the, the waves coming on that rock. I'd like you to think upon this reality that God is our solid rock upon which we stand that could give us the way forward into 2021. Dear friends, when I say to you all, please maintain your safety. If you are going to be with family and friends, uh, maintain uh, the wearing of your masks, 
be safe as a community, uh, try your best to assist our country and the world in uh, countering this pandemic. Uh, our infection rates per day have gone up and we are asking that you all will uh, be mindful of your safety, whether you are here in, on Zoom with us or uh, online. We wanna say thank you for joining us uh, in the service. By way of announcements, we'll be back online as discussed with our leaders at the church. Um, I know that for some of us, we would really love to be back at church, but Via Christi Community Church will continue with online services this coming Sunday and into the early part of January. And we will meet with our leaders and our elders and check in uh, on, on the infection rates and try and do good by all of our people. When we then at that moment in time, if it is deemed to be safe, we'll return to the building. Well, we can't tell uh, till level three has passed because there's no social gatherings and that includes church services. So until that, um, uh, that changes, we will continue with our online services. Amen. So as we close our, our evening tonight, we'll close with another song. And uh, as you know, through the year, we've had beautiful artists help us out with music. And now we have Jonathan Abrams who close us out with a, a song that is saying to us that God is our way maker. As we look to 2021, God is going to make a way where there seems to be no way. And uh, I hope this, that as we close out, that this song will just put a sign and a seal of blessing over all of you. And then we'll come back after that song to close off in a community time of prayer. Let's close with Jonathan leading us with a way maker. Before ever time began, a life was in his hand. He knows my name, he knows my every thought. He sees it's ever that falls, and he hears me. Thank you to Jonathan for that beautiful rendition of He Knows My Name. So this evening, we thank you so much for joining us. We pray that you would have a blessed 2021. And just to be mindful to keep 
the safety protocols. We need to uh, make sure that we are bringing down the infection rates and making sure that this curve comes back down. Even we, though we are maintaining our physical distance, please continue to be a supportive uh, person, family, community, making sure that we are checking in on people, that people even in isolation remain connected. And so please continue to do that. If there are needs in our community, let's identify that and let's continue to support in this time so that people will have a hopeful uh, season and a hopeful 2021. Amen. As we close out by way of benediction uh, today, we have a maker who knows our name and that maker can make a way for us. And let us do so. I will ask our friends if they would like to unmute their mics and unmute their videos. Uh, you're all welcome to do so. As uh, And uh, let me try and request that everyone unmutes. Uh, if you can, dear friends, Nuts and Colin and Kay and Sankar. Please unmute uh, my camera, please. Thank you so much. Please unmute, unmute everybody. Um, can't, start, can't start the video. I'll start the video. I'll start your video there. Uh, the video there. Hey, there's Colin James. Uh, are the Modley still here? I'll ask them to start the video there. Auntie K, there's Auntie K. Is Uncle Dyer with you, Auntie K? Yes. yes. Hi. Come closer. Come closer. We can see you now. Yes. So nice to see everybody. As it is. And and Colin is there with his dear wife. Is that your wife, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, good to see you all. So thank you all for joining us online. Thank you for joining us on Facebook. And by way of benediction, we're gonna do this in community style. We're gonna close off with our, our community prayer. Uh, so let me just get to that prayer. Sorry for this. Here we go. So, and we're gonna do uh, this beautiful prayer that's known as the Lord's Prayer. Many of us know it. We've said it many times over, but let's take a moment as we close off. Otherwise, those of you that are around on Sunday, we'll see you back at 9 a.m. for the Via Christi Community Sunday morning service. As we close by way of benediction, let us all say this. It might not end up in good timing, but all of our voices can participate in this together. Let us pray. Our okay. Father... What in hallowed be your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Your voice is the kingdom. Amen. On behalf of the Christi community and the leaders and the associated communities and friends that we have from South Africa and around the world, a happy new year to you all. And all of our colleagues that are online can do the same by wishing you a happy new year. Take care and God bless. Yes, God bless. Take care. Bless you. God bless. Happy new year to everybody. Happy Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. Hope that you're blessed by the service. We're going to be stopping our live uh, sharing right now. So God bless you all. Bye, Take our care. Facebook viewers. Bye. Go well and God bless you and a happy, uh, blessed New Year. God bless you.